Good evening, everyone. This is Pastor Sean with Christians Unite, and this is Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we are going to look at Ephesians chapter 6. Children and parents, children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. On your father and mother, this is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Bond servants and masters. Bond servants, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling, with a sincere heart, as you would Christ, not by the way of eye service as people pleasers, but as a bond servant of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, rendering service with a good will as the Lord and not to man, knowing that whatever good anyone does, that he will receive back from the Lord. Whether he is a bond servant or is free, masters do the same to them and stop your threatening, knowing that he is both their master and yours in heaven and that there is no partial partiality with him. The whole armor of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take on the whole armor of God that you will be able to withstand the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Stand therefore having fastened on the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness as the shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances take up the shield of faith which you can extinguish all flaming darts of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication. To the end, keep all alert with perseverance, making supplication for all saints. And also for me, that words may be given to me in opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel, for which I am the ambassador in chains, that I may declare it boldly as I ought to speak. Final greetings. So that you also may know how I am and what I'm doing Tychius, the beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, will tell you everything I have sent him to you for his very purpose, that you may know how we are, and that we may encourage your hearts, peace to be to brothers, and love with faith, from God the Father and Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all who love the Lord Jesus Christ, with love incorruptible. So the first part of chapter 6 is very clear. Um, it's a message to children to obey their parents and for parents to discipline their children, but not provoke the children to anger. So we need to be respectful of our authorities that are over us, but also do it in a respectful way. The second part, this is a very, um, one of the chapters in the Bible that I really enjoy. Um, it's about the pieces of the armor. And so this armor is both metaphorical and also um, physical. So the Bible is the sort of the spirit uh, from what I've read. Um, so if you stay in the word, um, you are basically sharpening your sword. Um, everything else uh, is metaphorical so basically the shield of faith um the helmet of salvation um that's all things that we can put on um through through christ and through the holy spirit um, but it's not a physical armor uh per se but it is a spiritual armor that we have um so it's really important and then the end of this chapter is just a message from uh paul um to the church so thank you for listening to this edition of reading through the bible hope you learned a lot if you have questions about the individual pieces of armor please let me know and we can go into discussion on that um also in the past i have done a uh, sermon on the 
armor of God. Um, I may do that again at some point. But uh, again, thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.